everyone. I am Real Disney, and I have a very special interview tonight. I have a Ghana resident. He is a native of Africa, and he will discuss with us the truth and clear up some myth that we've heard here in the United States. So, David, how are you tonight? Oh, I'm doing great, and I hope you're doing good, too. Thank you. Thank you. I am doing wonderful, and I want to thank you for agreeing to do this interview with the Real Disney Channel. And I have so many questions, and I'm going to start with the most obvious one okay and it's my pleasure okay all right so the most obvious question that myself and question that i've heard numerous of other american people ask each other was the fact that do african people dislike Americans. No. That so I need you guys back home if possible so you guys can come up then we could build Africa and make Africa a beautiful place for we all. Yeah. Oh wow! Okay, so that 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 helps a lot uh, because it's amazing how we were told that African people do not care for, particularly Black African Americans, and I wanted to ask that question, and I appreciate you clearing that up for me. Now, how is it, as a native of Ghana, do you see a lot of Black African Americans in Ghana? Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Our president put in an initiative of year of return, which a lot of black Americans came back to Africa, especially Ghana, to see how and to know how the hit more about the history about the slavery. And most most of a lot of celebrities were in Ghana. A lot of them, like Luda Chris and some other uh, renowned celebrities were in Ghana. So they came and they've seen, yeah, Ghana is a beautiful place and, and more about, about what the whole stuff is about. So there are a lot of black You're breaking up a little bit. You're breaking up a little bit. Nation. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, I can. That is much better. It's in and out a little bit, but I can hear you. Um, would you like to continue the interview? Yeah. yeah. So, as a say earlier yeah. okay you're freezing up again I'm sorry okay yeah. about the opportunity to visit our customs where the slave trade took place and they got to know a lot.
and so help black Americans to just forget about the perception about we Africans not liking them. It's a big lie. We love them and we want the bank home. Yeah. Well, I am looking forward to visiting Ghana. I know that much. And uh, the way things are going here in the United States, it, 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 I don't know if Ghana can handle the amount of people, particularly Black American, that's going to try to move to Ghana. They're going to leave America in drones, a mass amount of Black Americans probably will move to Ghana. No problem. <laughs> you are uh, 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 okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So is English your native language? It's in a peaceful country. No. English is not our native language. We have our own native language. Actually, we have about nine tribes in Ghana. Yeah, and every tribe has their personal language they speak. But English is just a common language. Wow. For all of us. We study our native language too as well. So when we meet people from outside Ghana, the easy way to communicate with them is by the use of English language. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. I did not know that either. You're teaching me so much. And uh, but we I'm sure we all have our best now. I'm sorry, it's breaking up so bad right about right from, now. From, uh, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I'm so sorry, it's breaking up. It's breaking up. Are you able to hear me? Okay, you guys. We were having some technical difficult, diff uh, yeah. We were having some technical difficulties, uh, and it seems like he's having some trouble with the internet connection. And I have to remind you, he is all the way in Ghana, Africa. So, oh, oh hopefully we have him back. Come back. Let's see. Let's oh, see. Sorry. I think we had a poor connection, I guess. Yeah, but you made it back. Yeah, but you I made it back. That. I appreciate that. Okay, thank you. And it's, and it's much better. It, it is, is much, much better. better. It is much better. Okay. Thank you. It's gone again. David? David? Yes, hello. Can you hear yeah, me now? I can. Hello? Yeah, I can hear yeah, you. I can. Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. So what would someone have to do to become so what would a someone have to do 
to become a resident? No, is if you if you got married to a Ghanaian and you the woman you are from a different country with marriage you are a Ghanaian automatically so you'll be able to have access to a Ghanaian passport a Ghanaian ID card and you'll be able to acquire or driving license through marriage okay when you marry to a Ghanaian you can become automatically a Ghanaian that's what I know yeah okay and what about people, okay and what about people that are not that are not want to marry, want to a, marry Ghanaian. a Ghanaian those who don't want to marry, marry a Ghanaian then unless you have to follow up your lineage and you have to find someone who can guarantee for you and that person is related to you oh. as being a black oh yeah I okay you. okay so with that you'll be allowed to have access but without a guarantee without a guarantee you can't be able to be what confirmed as a Ghanaian. Someone has to guarantee you, yeah. So you have to get a guarantor. Oh, okay. That's so, fact. Oh wow, that's interesting. So, oh, okay. So. Oh wow! Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So, I have a lot of questions. Do you mind? David, are you able to hear me? Hello, David. Are you able to hear me? Okay, we are experiencing difficulty. So, I'm sorry. I don't know if you can hear me, but I cannot hear you, David. So, are you able to reconnect? I don't think he can hear me. Okay. So then since David cannot hear me, you guys, um, we're having connection problems, but we did hear the fact that, let's see if he's gonna be able to make it back in. Hello, David. Are you able to hear me now? Hello?
Hello? Ask, I can't hear Hello? you. Are you able to? Hello? Hello. Okay. So we keep having some difficulty with the we have yeah, I, I just, I don't understand why we're having this problem. Maybe because you're in Africa and I'm all the way here. Hello? And there's a back delay. <laughs> of course, of course, of course. Heaven. David. Your microphone is mute. I don't understand. Let's see. Unmute mic. Yes. Unmute mic. Hello, David. Are you able to hear me? We can't seem to get this to work tonight, but I would love to have part two of this interview I just, so I, that we can continue. I can hear you. Later. Tonight. Okay. Okay. Oh, so okay. you can hear me. Oh, so you can hear I me. Can hear yeah, you. I can hear you. I couldn't hear you. Wow. I can hear you now. But I can. Okay. okay that's. You can hear me now. Okay. That's yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so look. What Don't is going worry. on? It's there, my Lord? end. I guess so, it's my look, end. The connection is from my What head. is going on there, Lord? Come again. I wanted to ask you about the COVID nineteen. How are things there? I wanted to ask you about the COVID nineteen. Oh, okay. How are things there? Okay, actually, here we are getting in control. Actually, our recovery percentage is now about 82%. There is a, a fast-growing recovery rate. And I guess people are obeying the rules. That have been put in place to get people getting free. a lot of more. Hello, David. David. Yeah. I can hear you. I don't know. I'm just breaking up today. Yeah. I guess it's from my end. Yes. Yeah, I guess it's from my end. Poor connection. So, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, as I was saying, our recovery rate is increasing is up to seven and um, eighty two percent now and uh, everything is going on smoothly because people are obeying measures that, that are being put in place. Yeah, and here when charged for whatever. So one thing I know and I've discovered is a lot of people here believe in local helps. 
e não bom, é, é, some, I think the world the European world was against it they think it's not the best for everybody and people get to find out what the formula is about and they know they got to know that it's a name tree which a plant that is used in manufacturing the chloroquine and ginger and lemon and then take it and they feel better it helps build uh, your immune system and it's difficult for the virus to get into you so people are really trying hard not to get infected with this dangerous disease and oh, well to fight against it yeah that's awesome so are your are your borders are your borders, yes, borders still closed? are your borders still closed? Yeah, the borders are still closed. But the airports, according to the last address the president made to the nation, the airport is being open partially, but only to tourists, those that are coming to the country on tourism purposes, not for human trafficking, you understand? So, but before you come into the country, you need to go through or obey some regulations. When you come, you'll be quarantined for 14 days before you will be allowed to do anything in the country, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. So if I wanted to so come, if I wanted to I wanted come, come to, uh, to Ghana, I would have to sit in uh, quarantine. To Ghana, mm -hmm. I would have to sit in quarantine. Yeah, you have fourteen days. Yeah, before you will be allowed to come out to do anything you want to do. Well, folks, well, uh, folks, uh, if you want to go to Ghana, you have to be willing to sit want to, to go 10 days to Ghana before you're to able to do anything. Have, so you have to have some magnificent time to, to, to be able to enjoy Ghana. Sit. Is that right? For Okay. Oh, you're able to do it. Oh, you have have some magnificent This delay is crazy. And now it's frozen again. I don't think they want us to do this interview. I don't think they want us to do this interview. <laughs> the connection is very bad, I guess. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> so can you hear me now? Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can. Okay, so go ahead and ask anything you want to know. Okay. So, in Ghana, do they have 
when you get married there, is it like you have to get married your so traditional way or you get married yeah. whatever you want? I don't know. Do they have... When you get married there, is it like you have to get married your traditional way, or you get married however you want? There's a courtship. We have the traditional one, and we have the white work because I uh, love doing that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. We are just trying. Oh, that's to, nice. Yeah, we are just trying to copy the Europe world, but <laughs> we are African. <laughs> we need to do. Oh, wait, you understand? I do understand, but however, it still keeps going in and out. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. I'm very sorry we having poor connection today. <laughs> yeah, we are. Okay. We are. So let me yeah, ask we you are. We are. Question. So okay. let me ask you a question. Okay. What is the time difference there? Like what is the time difference there? Like like here where I'm located like, is seven thirty eight. Here where I'm located is we'll the midnight, yeah. You said four? four. You said four? Yeah, four hours different. Oh, so it's eleven thirty. Oh, so it's eleven thirty at night. Yeah, at night, eleven thirty-eight p.m. We close to midnight. Oh well, oh. I hope I'm not interrupting well, you. I hope I'm not interrupting you. Oh, Lord. So I'm okay. Um, at least I'm glad talking to you. So I'm okay. I love staying late at night myself. Always indoor, trying to get things done myself. So. Oh, okay. I remember okay. seeing something. I remember seeing something. Or hearing something irrelevant. Or hearing something irrelevant. Um, um, refrigerators. Refrigerators. Like here, oh. is mandatory oh. for okay. us to have refrigerators. Like, like he, he, he. I hope you can hear. Yes, because it, yes. it went out. And it's breaking up. It went out. <laughs> it's not doing anything. Can't seem to complete this interview tonight. I'm 
sorry about the work connection. I don't know, but that's okay. So what we'll what we'll do is I'm gonna thank you. I'm gonna thank you. Well. <laughs> Thank you, David, oh. if he oh. uh, is able to watch this oh. or if he's able to hear this. Oh. 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 It's not, it's just not, not, it's, it's just not. So, um, I think I got the substance of what I wanted to ask you and Hopefully next time we'll have a much better connection. So, this is interesting how this is, <laughs> well, well, I'm going to end this interview tonight, David. Um, I don't know if you I, can hear me or not, think, but I, we can try this some yeah, other time. I, I guess when we can see if we can get some sort of better connection. Uh, maybe we'll do try a um, Instagram or a uh, Facebook or something like that. We'll try that. And see if that's better. Uh, I don't know. But this is not working out. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> All right, good night. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, you guys. I had no clue that internet connection was going to be that much off. Um, I apologize, but there is some differences between our customs, basically here in the United States, and the um, Ghanaian way. Uh, I don't know if you heard some of that, but it was very interesting. And I personally am looking forward to the borders opening. And I will definitely be traveling to Ghana. So if you would like to, what we can do as a group, we can all get together as a group. And once the border is open, if you have your passports ready, let's do it as a group. And we'll go to Ghana and have a wonderful time. And hopefully they won't have that 10 day hold. I would not, I'm not too interested in the part where we have, we get to Ghana and then have to just sit God knows where for 10 days before we're able to enjoy ourselves. So, like a lot of people I know will have a two week vacation and I don't think they would want to spend that type of money to go to Ghana and have to just sit God knows where for 10 days and then only have four days left to go here and there. 
So I'm going to ask him when tourists come, does he know where people have to be for a 10 day, 10 day period? I'll find out. Thank you guys for joining the Real Dense Nate channel. Please subscribe, please like, please share, even though we had a lot of in and out here, but I enjoyed this interview and I truly thank David for even participating with the interview. I truly appreciate it. Until next time, you guys, I'm out.